How is it going you guys? It's Steven with Break Free Homestead. Today, I'm gonna to be starting a new project. Now, this is not my project, this is for somebody else, but in the name of helping people out, looking to do the same type of project, I'm gonna take care of it, and we're gonna put it up on the YouTubes. So, this is a single car garage here on this house, and if they're looking to get a little bit more room, um, you know, a garage is nice, but when you don't have enough room, the garage ain't worth too much. So, we're gonna build them a shed also, so they'll have room to store stuff, but we're gonna get them room inside their house for living space so let me show you what we gotta do today all right so first things first we have a single door over there let me turn it around we'll show you what's going on all right this is the side of the house that faces the street so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna close this in and we're gonna put a big window here so it'll be like a living room window. Um, first thing we have to do though, this being a slab, we're going to pour a concrete, um, basically edge to meet up with the existing border in the garage, just so we don't get any leaks. Um, you know, the water, if it comes down, rushing down here, I don't wanna have to worry about that. So we have that going in and then over here is gonna be a bathroom tied in. There's a utility closet behind there. So we're gonna tie in a half bath down here. We're gonna put a window in that door uh, so we don't have to build a new header, super simple. And then we're gonna build the wall obviously there. And that goes into the house. Over here, we're gonna put two additional windows to give them some nice natural light in here. So we gotta tear down some siding and we're gonna tear down basically to the top of this because it needs to be resided. So this will get us access. The goal today is we're going to pour concrete, tear this down, tear the siding down, and get ready for framing uh, these two windows out, or three windows with the door. But let's get to it. So now that we got this opened up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut our drywall back to look at our header um, because down here, the wood is coming into contact with the concrete and we wanna pour concrete all the way there. So we might have to support this wall, and cut this up so it can sit on the concrete. All right, just got this all cleaned up. What I'm gonna do is take off all the siding now so we can put some forms up on this and we'll then cut that cut back our uh, jack studs here over here with some rot so we're gonna have to take care of that first i think it might be these big ants right here so carpenter ants i'm assuming they are I'm not a bug expert <laughs> that was a huge spider all right let's get the siding off So I just cleaned up that side right there. Let me show you what I did. It has one jack stud right now holding the header. And it was four studs holding this garage header up. And uh, this side looks relatively good. Only minimal water damage. Uh, that's from the siding. But this side, I took three of them out. So there's the one. Look at this. This is 
deteriorating super bad and it just if we're doing this it's not okay to leave that so I pulled those three out we have the one here this one's still in pretty good shape and what I did is I cut the base plate out and then I cut back to here because we're gonna be pouring concrete to match this and then we'll put our pressure treated um, plate here and then we'll add those three back this is okay this is being held up you know by this other king stud right here for a short period of time this is gonna be fine to hold that up so we will also cut the bottom out on there and do the same thing and then we'll get our concrete poured so over here we're adding two windows so I'm just gonna rip all the drywall down it's not in great shape uh, plus we're gonna attach a wall coming out for the bathroom so it's just gonna be easier just to rip all this drywall off on this wall down this drywall real fast might as well get it all down it's gonna make it easier new drywall the whole new deal um, make sure you wear your ear and eye protection I think it's funny being a veteran in the army they always called it ear pro but with the 3m lawsuit it doesn't seem like there's anything pro about it freaking dummies So I took all the siding off because we were putting those windows there and everything has to be tied in around the new windows. So I don't know why this house doesn't have house wrap um, built, what, like 20 years ago or something like that. So not that long ago, uh, but we're going to put house wrap under where we work. Do the best we can. We're not opening the whole house up to put house wrap. That's not our thing and that's not the scope. So um, we're just going to make what part we do right. And yeah, so now I need to go inside and work on the framing for the windows, figure out where they're going to lay um, and whatnot. 